in the next few minutes, uh, you're going to learn something uh, critical to, to this whole program. Yeah, when uh, I, I don't know how to even how to even bring in the importance of the next ten minutes. You can you can see that I'm trying to you know find out what is the best way to to impress all of you who are listening to this and say maybe the next ten minutes is the most important ten minutes of these entire eight week session. You know, it's, it's it's nice to know biomimicry. It's nice to know that uh, nature is a great inventor. It's nice to know that that you can be inspired by nature. Uh, it's nice to know why biomimicry. But at some point of time, we will have to know how to actually do biomimicry. We learned that biomimicry offers solutions, right? So if biomimicry offers solutions, then we must be ready to solve problems. Because without problems, you cannot have solutions. Now, therefore, one of the attitudes that we will have is that we will embrace problems. We will start to what is called fall in love with problems. Now, after we have fallen in love with a problem, and after we have said, this is the problem I want to solve. And if we want to, if we want to be inspired by nature, if we want to solve the problems, the way nature solves those problems, but how do we do it? That is the question, right? So I'm going to show you a picture. I'm going to show you a picture, which is not going to, which is not going, which, 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 which you're not going to let go of. Which is, going to Im which is going to be imprinted in your mind and heart for the rest of the program and maybe for the rest of your life. So the picture I'm going to show you is of, is that the process, right? The biomimicry process. Look at this picture, so beautiful, right? So clear, so nice. And many of you may be tempted to actually put this as the photograph for your, on your WhatsApp. So, this is the biomimicry process, which helps you to go from problem, which is contained in the define, to evaluate, which is the final solution. And in between define and evaluate, there are certain steps. Now, many of the student projects that you will see, all the students would have used these steps. The magic of this process is, that when you start the biomimicry program, as of as as in right now, all of you are are not very aware of how to go about this whole thing. But the magic of the process is that if you follow the process in a disciplined manner, if you trust the process, that's what process requires, right? Whether it's the creativity process or the manufacturing process or the recruitment process, any process requires discipline and trust in the process. You need to follow the process in a very disciplined way. Uh, maybe, at, maybe some of you in the future will come out with a new process. That doesn't matter. For the moment, this is the process we have. And this process will teach you to go from one problem, from the problem to the solution. And in between, there are certain steps. So I'm just going to quickly let you read the processes, the, 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 the steps, which is defined automatically, which means that you define something, you define a problem. Biologize is, is the life-changing word here. And then discover, abstract, emulate, evaluate. This is also called the biomimicry design spiral. Right. Now, I can leave you here for and, and in suspense saying, you know what this is, but I can also go ahead and start to explain it a little more. Um, you're going to be you're going to be dealing with this. You're going to be um, seeing this, um, looking at this ad nauseum. But that's what it is because it's magical, right? It lets you start with nothing and end up with a solution. And if you are patient enough, by the end of this this session, 
you would have found out that one of the students has actually used the process and come back with a beautiful solution. Right. Okay, now I'm going to explain this, uh, the process step by step. Just pay attention, please, because if you pay attention now, it'd be easier for you to, 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 to um, go through this whole program very, in a very easy, enjoyable sort of manner. So these are the steps. So all I'm doing is relating the steps, giving you a one line explanation of the steps. I'm not going to go deep into it right now because we'll be doing it several times over the next few weeks. So the first is, what is the challenge? What is the challenge I have? You know, even in entrepreneurship, when I learned entrepreneurship about three years ago, the first thing I learned was to identify the problem. In design thinking, your first thing you learn is to identify the problem. Similarly, in biomimicry, you, as for using the spiral, you start with saying, what is the problem I want to address? What is the problem I have? What is the problem that I want to solve? Is the defined. Very simple. We will teach you later on in a very detailed way, how do you actually arrive at the problem? There are several ways to look for what is called the real problem. You can start with a large problem and go on to a real problem, but that's not the teaching now. That's not what you need to learn now. Right now, you need to simply understand what is defined. Define is what is the problem I want to solve. Now, the next one, you can see me smiling, right? Because I was waiting to come to this one. The next one is biologize. I frankly did not even know this word existed before I learned biomimicry, frankly. I don't even know how how well, I don't even know how the, the person who coined it, coined it into a verb, right? Biology, biologize, right? Biology is the noun and biologize is the verb. So biologize, see what it means. It means how does nature accomplish what I wish to address? So again, I'm not going to go deep into this. Once you have identified the problem that I want to keep my fabric clean, I want to keep clothes clean, if that is what you have identified as a problem, the next question you ask is, biologize, which is, how does nature keep fabric clean? You know, a life-changing question. A life-changing question, because remember we said, why biomimicry? We said we change perspective, and this is the word that changes your perspective, changes your life. Because the minute you have a problem, you can ask, how does nature solve the problem? How does nature address the problem? I want to build a team. How does nature build teams? I want to regulate temperature. How does nature regulate temperature? So how does nature accomplish? How does nature address the, the problems that I want to address? Which means the problems that I want to address and the problems that nature wants to address is the same is biologize. It's a life changing word. Biologize, remember, biologize means how does nature accomplish what I want to address. And then you look at discover. Discover is what it means. Look for the organisms that perform the same function that I'm trying to address. I want to regulate temperature. What are those organisms that regulate temperature. So the, 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 the interrogation here is what are those organisms, right? Where are those organisms? So discover is looking for finding out which are the organisms in nature that accomplish or, try, or, try, or are trying to solve the, the, the same function that I am trying to solve. So discover is, you'll be, you'll be introduced to a world of discovery, to lots and lots and lots of organisms. You will have to identify what are those organisms that accomplish the function or perform the function that you want to address. Right? So it's, it's clear now, right? Define what is the problem I want to solve. Biologize, how does nature solve the problem? Discover what are the organisms in nature that solve that problem. Abstract is how do I translate the biological strategy to design strategy. It sounds complicated. It's not. 
Nature has a strategy, right? The lotus leaf has a strategy. The lotus leaf has small microstructures. We learned that. And then the microstructures, the water does, water does not stay on the lotus leaf. The, lotus, the water is washed away. We learned all that. We will learn all that. Now, that's a biological strategy. That's what the lotus leaf, leaf does. Now, how do I understand that strategy? In simple words, without using any biology uh, biology language, right? How do I draw the picture of the entire process that the lotus leaf adopts? How do I make it very simple, taking away all the jargon and simply drawing a surface on which water is washed away with small microstructures there? If I can understand it in a very simple way, so abstract is understanding the biological strategy in a very simple way. It's one of the most exciting things you will do in your process. Just watch out. So beautiful it will be. It's really, really fantastic because it will help you ask yourself, what is it really that nature is doing for this strategy? And then abstracting that strategy. And then emulate is how do I... Emulate is, 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 is the ideation phase, right? So I, I know that the, the, the lotus leaf is employing this strategy. And I understand what it is doing. Emulate means what are the ideas I have? What are the new ideas I have to adopt this strategy? What, how can I be inspired by this strategy? How can I actually be inspired by this strategy in order to make, in order to look for a solution? So emulate, emulate is a very individual effort. Each one of us will look at the same strategy, but will come out with different ideas. And finally, evaluate is how can the solution be deployed in the real world? What is it? So it's not enough just simply to, to have a solution, right? It's also the, the problems in the solution. How do I get over the problems? What are the barriers about the problems? What are the constraints? And how do I fulfill the, you learn this, how do I, ful, how do I fulfill um, the design principles of nature? How do I evaluate? How do I evaluate my, my idea? against the design principles of nature. So therefore, what you have are one, two, three, four, five, six steps. Define is what is the problem I want to solve. Biologize is how does nature solve that problem. Discover is what are the organisms in nature that solve that problem. Abstract is how do I translate in a simple method, in a simple language, the biological strategy of nature. Emulate is what are the ideas I have uh, what are the ideas I have? What, are the ins- what is the inspiration I have by looking at the strategy? What are the new solutions that come to my mind? And evaluate is how do I, how do I evaluate my ideas? How do I, how do I uh, tailor my ideas? How do I look at the problems in my ideas and try and find out if I can, if I can come back with a solution that addresses those problems? How, how do I evaluate my ideas against the design principles of nature? So finally, what we are really saying is that from from just simply having a problem to solve, which is again an attitude that we had developed, that the devil, the attitude of saying, I want to solve problems, to following the process in a very disciplined way and coming back with a solution that is elegant and that is very, very much inspired by nature. Of course, whenever you look at a process, you also remember that all processes are iterative which means that you can keep going back and forth. If, for instance, you don't, you're not very happy with your, with your emulate idea, for instance, then you can go back to finding out if there's some other organism you can be inspired by. You probably have defined the problem in a different way. You can also ask yourself if there's a better way to define the problem. Maybe, maybe you have not asked the right questions of nature. Maybe the abstract is a little more, you have to work a little harder on the abstract. So you keep on going, you know, uh, up and down. You can keep on iterating in order to come back with the solution that you are satisfied with. And therefore, this is going to be the heart of this program, the biomimicry spiral, right? And therefore, if you really look at it, it's very, very logical. The only, the only surprise here, the only bonus for us, each of us here, is the word biologize. That's my favorite. Right? I don't know how many of you are going to have favorites in this, but let's see at the end of the program if 
everything in the spiral is your favorite. If one is your favorite, if all is your favorite, etc. But remember, the spiral is going to keep on coming back and back and back and back to us because everything that we do in this program will be around solving a problem, being inspired by nature.